Hi! Today we're going to learn about the absolute value of a complex number. Let's say we have the example negative 3 plus 5i. Before we start solving for it, let's, let's figure out what a complex number is. A complex number is a plus bi, where i is equal to the square root of negative 1. But in this video, it's not very important. Now, the way we actually find this is by graphing it on a complex plane. So a complex plane has uh, the x value as real numbers and the y values as imaginary numbers. But that's also not important in this video. There's another, another video on that. So, the way, why, what is absolute value? So absolute value is the distance between two points, the, between 0 and this number. So the distance between 0 and this number is the absolute value. So that's why we put everything positive in absolute value, because nothing is negative, because the distance can't be negative. So this would be the absolute value, absolute value of 3 plus 5i would be 3 plus 5i. Now, what does that mean? Well, we use a Pythagorean theorem to, um, to do this. So we do a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where this is a and b. So we would do 3 squared plus 5 squared is equal to 3 squared is equal to 9 5 squared is equal to 25 is equal to 36 so that's 36 now we have to find the square root of it because we squared both of them and we also need to square root this one so it would be 6 so the absolute value of 3 negative 3 plus square root of 5 is 6 Today we learned about how to find the absolute value of a complex number.